Hi Jan, this is Michela from Appennino TV. Thanks for this interview. Uh, my first question as a woman and um, uh, a hiker is uh, what did you miss most, if you, about uh, normal life, ordinary life? The thing I missed the most was learning when you're on an expedition, you can never lay down on the couch. I mean, it is really, you're up, you're vertical, you're working every day, every day, every day, every day. There's always something that has to be done just to survive. And I realized after about two months, you can never just lay on the couch. What are your suggestions, your advice to a young woman who is entering in the world of the professional mountaineering? Um, what I've noticed in the United States when I'm talking to young women, they sometimes tell me things haven't really changed that much. One young woman said um, every time she goes to start the fire, the men start taking over. And uh, I think it's important for women to know and understand uh, I only know English, there's a difference between being assertive and aggressive. If you're assertive, that means you're just giving your opinion. Aggressive means trying to convince everyone that to have your opinion. And I think sometimes women don't see the difference. It's okay to have an opinion. You say, I, I don't get, you know, you may think something else, but here's what I think. And I think when a woman understands being assertive and giving an opinion is okay, it's not the same of, as being aggressive, saying you should think this way. When a woman understands it's okay to give her opinion, uh, I think that's the way to go. And that's helpful for young women. It's okay to speak up. Do you think uh, that uh, as a um, woman adventurer uh, you attracted more or less sponsor than men alpinists? Uh, well, um, in my time, I'm 66 years old. I'm old. So um, in the very beginning, um, the sponsor even said they wouldn't have sponsored the expedition if there wasn't a woman. So it was very important that I was there. So you made uh, several uh, solo climbing and uh, solo expedition. Comparing uh, with the uh, team expedition, uh, what are the differences uh, in, in terms of training, for example, and uh, what do you like most and why? Better alone. <laughs> well, I, I, what would happen is, uh, in my time, there weren't that many men that wanted to go on an expedition led by a woman. So it was just simpler for me to have my ideas and uh, go on my own. Or I might find one person, one guy that would go with me. Usually it was my partner, climbing partner. Um, uh, so it was just simpler. The other thing is, w working that way, um, you didn't need to raise all the money for a big expedition. I could be quick and fast. So I did a lot of uh, first ascents and descents uh, without uh, having, a lot, having to raise a lot of money. And you're safer, you're quick, you're fast, you're in, you're out. So that's what I liked about solo or having one other person. There's safety and speed. Thank you for Thank your you time. Well, okay. I hope I'm you sorry, liked it okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really.